This is a side of Fallujah rarely seen. The gateway city to Anbar province is bursting in a riot of colour and painting. The Fine Arts College has been rebuilt and students and teachers are producing more work than ever before. Fallujah has a violent history. Fifteen years ago it was the centre of some of the toughest battles in Iraq's recent past. Al-Qaeda in Iraq then turned Fallujah and much of Anbar province into its base and the occupying American army was almost powerless to stop the group. It was local Anbar tribes with American backing that eventually defeated Al-Qaeda in Iraq. But an uneasy peace in the region wasn't to last. The neighbouring war in Syria spilled over into the province and ISIL marched into Anbar in 2013. The Fine Arts College faculty members remember that time with dread. This mural commemorates students who were killed because ISIL said painting was a sin. We as fine art teachers have took the initiative to keep the memory of the massacre in order to become a message of awareness for the world that the city removed all its violent and bloody images. Fallujah is now wearing another colorful dress and adopting a new peaceful culture and a constructive awareness is spreading through a number of art and cultural activities. The memories of war run deep here. People look back at the last 15 years as a dark age and are trying to revive Fallujah's reputation as a city of culture. The ideology of ISIL left negative impressions on the younger generation and the students through images of war. And that's why we're working to erase all of these effects. And now our city is considered a city of peace and stability. But peace and stability are difficult things to maintain without government support. Fallujah, like other parts of Iraq, faces electricity blackouts that can last up to eight hours a day. There are food shortages and the constant threat that remnants of ISIL fighters could attack any day. For the mayor of Fallujah, employment is key. We are hoping the government will provide job opportunities for the people in Fallujah, including the young. Everyone knows that when people returned to Fallujah, unemployment spiked in the city. Fifteen years is a long time to be at war, and despite the fact that Iraq now enjoys a relative peace, there's still a very long way to go before permanent security can be established. Now, there are success stories in places like Fallujah, but in order to be able to build on them, all of Iraqi society needs to come together. With elections scheduled for May, Iraqis will be hoping that the memories of American occupation, sectarian violence, Al-Qaeda and ISIL are a thing of the past and that the new government will build a better Iraq. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.